Hey guys, and welcome to the latest episode of the PlayStation 3 News. Now you might be asking, who the hell is this guy, right? Where, where's the trailers and all that? Well, it's me. It's Googie. For all you guys who've been watching me for a year, maybe two years since I've been doing this, you finally can put a voice, or a face to the voice, I should say. And I'll let you guys be the judge if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Now, before I get started, uh, this is only part of the change I said what was coming to my show. Now, it, it's I'm going to still make like tweaks and you know do a little more changes and everything until I make it the best that it can be. So bear with me, this is not the final product. Stuff will keep changing until I can tell you why and you know, all that stuff. Don't worry, down in the future, it'll all pay off. Hopefully, I promise. And also, I gotta apologize for the whole backdrop and the lighting's bad and everything I know, but this is very last second. I had no time for, to prepare. So, excuse all this for just springing it onto you in such bad quality, but it will improve, I promise. Now, start off with some pretty good news. Uh, start off with some bad news, I should say. Is that Gran Turismo 5, unfortunately, has been delayed again. <clears throat> now, I know. Now, apparently they stated that Gran Turismo 5, uh, the November 2nd release date that was supposed to be for it, was supposed to be the final release date. Well, now they're coming out with this delay. Now, but they did say that it will come out this holiday season. They said it's a very short delay, if you will, and a lot, there's a lot of things going around why it was delayed, but I won't get into all of them. It's just one thing that uh, they say, though, it could possibly be because of piracy. They said piracy could be the possible delay that they want to adapt to Sony's new countermeasures, as they put it, yeah. So, we'll, we'll see, but they said it's coming this holiday season, I don't know the new release date as of yet, I always keep you guys updated, so make sure you pay attention, you know, keep watching my shows, and I'll let you guys know. And also, Rockstar has announced that they will be doing to Red Dead Redemption what they did similar to Grand Theft Auto, where they will be releasing all the downloadable content for Red Dead Redemption, all of it, including the new Undead Nightmare pack coming October 26th. Uh, they said that uh, all of it's going to be available on store shelves as a hard copy, all right, and one disc. So you're going to get every single downloadable content that's been released for $29.99 uh, on one disc, just like Grand Theft Auto. So you got a choice now. Uh, I don't have an exact release date as of yet when that will be hitting store shelves, but it, you know me. Definitely let you know when I get the info. And also, Netflix users. Netflix is going discless on the PS3. Yeah, right? You know, you're finally getting it. Where now, starting, well, starting October 18th, you'll be able to throw out those discs for the PS3 because you'll be able to use Netflix disc lists. And I'll also bring about some cool stuff. First of all, they announced that uh, the PS3, with this new disc list app, will be the first, the very first, consumer electronics to actually have 5.1 surround sound on movies and TV shows that are being streamed from Netflix. So the PS3 is gonna be the first one to do that. That's pretty cool. And also, you're gonna have uh, increased an increased amount in content, 1080p resolution. Uh, you're also going to get an improved start time on the playback and a new user interface. So have fun, guys. Watch those TV, show, TV shows and movies. And also, Crazy Taxi has gotten a classic, arcade classic, I might as well. It has gotten a release date for the PlayStation Network. That will be coming out November 23rd. And it's not just an older game that's going to be playable on the PS3 because it's a little bit of improvement. It's going to have 720p visuals, so it's going to be high definition. And online leaderboards for you crazy taxi fanatics who love to get the highest time. And also, uh, cool news for you guys over in the UK. UK movie rental Love Film, Little Eye, is coming to the PS3 in November. I don't know the exact date, but I know it's coming in November, and it'll be accessible through the XMB. So that that's sounds cool, I guess. Another option, you know, if you're a Love Film uh, subscriber, you don't have to subscribe to Netflix if you're, you know, it gives you an option. So that's, that's pretty cool. And also, Pirates of the Caribbean uh, Armada of the Damned has been canceled. If you're looking forward to this sandbox open world uh, Grand Theft Auto-esque Pirates of the Caribbean game, which I was, action, you know, game, you know, it's been canned. What are you going to do? It happens all the time, but it basically it's because Disney Interactive Studios has gotten some job cuts and somewhat, so 
they, you know, it made the game get canned. It, it happens. It sucks, though. But what are you going to do? And also, Sony has uh, their Midnight Movies promotion going on right now. In case you didn't know, you might want to jump on a band, bandwagon with this. Because it's pretty cool. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to get one free movie rental from the PlayStation Network video store every Saturday night between 8 p.m. and 6 a.m. Okay? Let me clarify those things so you don't get confused. Every Saturday night, uh, Sony will have one specific movie. You don't get to pick any. It's one specific movie that, that they will allow you to rent for free between Saturday 8 p.m. and Sunday 6 a.m. As long as you log into the video store between then, you can rent it their specific movie for free. Now this is only for US PlayStation Network users. Sorry Europe and the rest of the world, but that's what it is. Pretty cool though. Check it out every Saturday night. I don't know for how long, but that's what they got going now. So get it while you can. And last bit of news here is I reported last week on David O. Russell being the writer and director for the upcoming Uncharted Drake's Fortune movie. There's a lot of comments on that and everything. Well, one thing a lot of fans have said that they wanted for the movie <clears throat> to star is Nathan Drake. Is if I'm pronouncing his name correctly, which I doubt I am, and I'm sorry about it, is Nathan Fillion or Fillion, however you want to say it. Uh, a lot of people have wanted him to play Nathan Drake. Well, even Nathan Fillion himself wants to play Nathan Drake. He has showed his. Um, He's shown his, his interests, basically. He's, you know, he's on his Twitter post and everything. He's wanting to play it, and he says he's going out for the role. So if you're a fan of him, and you want him for Drake, that's good news so far. Not saying he has become Drake, but he's trying out for the role. You know, he wants to be it. So, yeah. So that's pretty much it. Pretty cool news. Some kind of disappointing news. Yeah, I mean, delays and cancellations and whatnot. Uh, also, before I go, I'd like to thank all the fans one more time and everything again about last week's episode. You guys were awesome with the feedback. I was completely shocked, had no clue, and didn't know what to expect, but I did not expect that. It's like the most commented video I've ever had, I think, most comments on it. It was ridiculous. But I'd also like to thank everyone's feedback and thank everyone for watching, and I promise all this will improve. Next week I'll try and get something better with this whole backdrop, and I know it's all crap. But I, you know, I'm starting, starting to change. Uh, so I like, I like you guys to like, comment, subscribe, check out my game music videos, and I'll catch you guys next week. All right? Take it easy. Peace.